Hello, Jess Too Good here, and LEGO sent me some LEGO video sets, which is their new theme early, and I wanted to take a look at the LEGO Bandmates, which is basically a new CMF series. These interact with the video app, and there's 12 minifigures to collect, the same number you would get in a CMF series nowadays. So yeah, filled with different crazy minifigures. Let's take a look at each of these. And I realized I just screwed up and forgot to film me opening up the first box. I am so stupid. But anyways, I call this figure the pop star because it looks like some cotton candy design over here. And this design has sprinkles all over it too. I guess you could just say it's an ice cream pop star or something. I love the vibrant blue and pink they use, which gives us a new recolor of that Lego movie Harley Quinn hair. Also a new color for the pom-poms in this nice pink. With those two parts removed, you can get a better look at that really vibrant torso and leg printing. Not too much else to show with this figure. Unfortunately, there's no alternate face. And each set comes with more pieces than just the minifigure, where we have these two pieces at the back. A 2x6 plate, which you fill up with 2x2 two two tiles, and these are the beat bits that interact with the app. You can see three exclusive ones here, where we have <laughs> this really cool almost album cover, it looks like then some popcorn, and then it looks like another album cover with this astronaut on there. I love how colorful and vibrant these prints are. For our next blind box, let's see. Oh no, it's cut right there. But uh, pulling everything out, we have this ghoul chick. For the ghoul girl, this design is freaking awesome. I love the dual molded legs at the bottom here where we get it in this green and trans green color. Also another instance of Bellatrix Lestrange's hair, which is just nice to get in a very cheap set like this one. I love the face print at the front with the tongue sticking out. Some cool torso printing as well. And on the other side, you can see some back torso printing. Unfortunately, no back face printing. And dang it, Lego, you should have put like a one by two jumper so that this ghoul can be aligned perfectly in the middle. Now she has to go a little bit to the side because she only has one stud to connect through with the legs. Once you put it something like this, I don't know. But anyways, for those prints, we have a really awesome one with the two by two on the ghost design. I love how that's an actual Lego ghost. The one to left and right are pretty cool and kind of trippy too. <laughs> but anyways, that's it for this blind box opening. I love this series so far, taking some classic Lego CMF tropes. It doesn't feel too redundant because it's outside of that theme. And then adding those two by two prints that are so detailed and vibrant. I can't wait to get my hands on more. <laughs> but anyways, thanks to Lego for sending me this early. Even though all opinions in this video are my own. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And subscribe for more Lego content. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.